Hello, welcome to day nine of playing chess every day until I reach 1800. Let's jump right into it, and sorry that my face looks so terrible. Um, I have the camera quality of a potato. So we're playing c6 and d5, just the Karo Khan moves. And if he plays this, we're mirroring the exact same game as yesterday. And that beautiful 1327 ELO is looking real tasty right now. I got a comment, I've actually gotten a, a few comments about why I'm chasing 1800 ELO instead of 2000. And, and I know that there are some other people posting on, on YouTube who are going for 2000 ELO. The main reason is because I'm in my final year of high school and I cannot like ensure that I'll have time to play chess as, as much as I would like to in college. So that's really the main reason. Um, it's kind of just a, as simple as that. If I do start getting into the high elos quickly though, I have absolutely no problem with moving it to 2000. And obviously I'd rather be 2000 than 1800. Um, but that's the main reasoning. Okay, and I'm playing 1510 again for a few reasons. One is because, I mean, I, I'm commentating, so obviously I take more time than my opponents. But the other reason is because I found that in 1510, my opponents just play absolutely instantly, which means that they'll play worse moves, which will give me an advantage. And I'm not sure, right, um, right now I'm debating between knight c6 and just developing my bishop. I think I want a castle, so I'll just opt for bishop e7. And I've been having some close call games recently, so I'm hoping that it'll be a bit more straightforward um, in this one. <laughs> but opponent is actually taking a few seconds to think, which is making me a bit nervous because most people I've gone against play literally instantly. And and in chess, and I know that I'm too low rating to really give advice yet, but if your opponent is playing instantly, do not force yourself to play instantly too because you will make up for your time um, deficit in a better position, hopefully. And that moves itching for me to play knight c6. But do I play knight c6 or do I castle first? Does it even matter? Hmm. I'm not sure if it matters. Obviously, I can't take this even if I do play knight c6. Sorry, um, so I think I'm just gonna castle first. And then I'll play knight c6 next. What I am liking a lot right now is that all my pawns are on light squares and I have no light squared bishop, but my opponent does, meaning that his light squared bishop is going to be pretty useless for the time being and hopefully for the rest of the game. I'm trying to learn about minor piece inequalities um, and how to make adv take advantage of them. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do with my bishop. Ideally, I'm going to be placing all my other pieces on the dark squares so that he cannot even target them. I think that's just a normal developing move. I'm not going to think too much about it. I'm just going to castle. Oh, wait a minute. I take it back. I think that he's trying to play knight b5 next move and then the fork there is actually pretty annoying yeah i think that's actually kind of dangerous because if i play knight here he plays here i don't really have a good way to defend the c7 square because i can't defend with my bishop because it just gets taken can't defend with my rook because i lose my pawn so as weird as it may seem i think that i have to play a6 first just to stop him from taking um, from playing knight b5. That's the type of move that I feel like I'm getting better at detecting. Like a month ago, I mean, I know I started this series only eight days ago, but I, you know, I've, I've been playing it before I made the series. Obviously, I think I would have just played knight c6 automatically, and maybe that would have been the better move. Maybe there was a way to defend that, but not that I see. So now I play this, and. I think that he's just developing, and I think there's too much thought behind his moves right now. But then again, not really behind mine either. I'm hoping that this game opens up soon in, in a way that's beneficial to me, obviously, because I don't enjoy closed games very much. That's actually why I switched from D4 to E4. I have a course on D4, um, and I was studying it, but then I didn't really like the positions just because... I, I know some people like the more positional closed games, but for me... I just like those a bit less.
And I'm thinking I'm probably going to play b5 next move because I would try to double target the pawns, but you know, he's just, he's just going to attack me with, with my rook and then win back this pawn. And then he's going to defend this one by just moving his bishop back or something. So I'm not sure that a move like queen b6 would, would really achieve much. But it all depends on what he plays, obviously. So I'm slightly regretting playing 1510 now because opponent is actually thinking, which is scaring me a little bit. I'm not sure what there is to think about right now, but who knows. Okay, so he plays a3. I'm assuming he's intending to play this next move, or he's just trying to stop me from developing my bishop. Maybe I should have pinned his knight last move and tried to take. That actually might have been better. I don't know. How do I want to approach this? Um, I can always play... Oh wait, I kind of like the... I'm not going to play it because I think it's probably stupid for, for a reason that I'm not detecting yet. But I kind of want my knight to be on c4 because it, it, if he pushes this pawn, then c4 is going to be insanely weak. But I'm now realizing that even if I do do that, he can just go one, make me move, but then move the next time, push the pawn forward once more. Um, do I have any fancy tactics? I don't think so. Um, do I push my pawn? Stop him from pushing his? I'm not sure that even stops him from pushing his, though. Maybe I push my pawn. Then I reroute to try to... How can I get to one of these squares so I can hop, um, hop into c4 if it opens up? What's the best path? Um, I think that the best path is there. So, in anticipation of him playing b5. Actually, no. I don't like how much scope his bishop has. I think I might want to trade the bishops. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I think I do want to do that. For some reason, trading the bishops is never correct in the computer, but I just don't like the fact that he has total domination of this long diagonal. I'm gonna silence my phone. Not obviously don't have anything chess on it, but don't want it to be distracting me. <sighs> Nothing like a cool glass of water. Hmm. And opponent is Nathan Giannini. I'm not sure if that's a real name. I would not opt to put my real name on my chess.com profile. I'm not trying to hide my real name or anything, it's just if somebody gets mad at you for beating them a certain way, I certainly don't want them to know who you are. <laughs> or to know who I am, at least. And this is my opponent's game for 1400, so if he wins, he's going to be 1400. Maybe that's why he's um, taking a long time to think about each move. And I do have homework tonight, so I, I hope he doesn't take this long in every move. Maybe in the future I just play 10 minute games. And again, I should be thinking too. Hmm. Maybe I also have to get a better camera. Okay, what's he thinking? Okay, so obviously that's just to defend the bishop there. Like, I mean, not, not defend, but recapture. Hmm. So, if I take there, he wants to take back with his queen. What I'm noticing is that the queen is the only defender of this pawn, but I don't think there's any way to take advantage of that fact, because if he recaptures, obviously he's still in line to see it. Um, let's see. Maybe I want to play queen c7 and kind of force him to take. Because otherwise I obviously win the bishop. I actually like the look of that because I want my rook to be able to move to 
Actually, it already can. Maybe I play um, rook c8. That's just a good developing move. But I also want to trade these bishops, and I don't like having my bishop there, so... I think I'm just going to play queen c7 because it just looks like a decent move altogether. I'm not sure what he's, how he can really punish it. I, th I think it's just one of those unpunishable moves. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Okay, he captures, captures. And I am more than happy with that. I think. Then again, now my queen is a bit misplaced because now I can't really move forward with it. Might have been better on c7 where I could move it to the square. I also realized that throughout that entire exchange, what I really did was I, I, I simply gave him development with this queen. Was my queen on the starting? Yeah, okay. So my, my queen was on the starting square too in the beginning of that. So I guess not too much lost. Now my next move is probably just going to be developing this rook, maybe pushing b5. Who knows? And in this type of position, I'm definitely liking the fact that I have knights because it's pretty closed. Maybe I do something like that. If he ever plays b5, of course. Not right now. Hmm. Okay, so I think he did that to get ready pushing c4. But I'm just going to play b5 to stop that. And if he wants to trade knights, that's fine by me. And all of my pawns are now in the light squares. Okay, what's he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? What is this man up to? Where, does, where is he about to go? Oh, I see. He wants this square. But I'm not afraid of that because I can just trade away trade the knights by dropping mine back. So I really don't think that's a threat. Yeah, I really don't think that's a threat. Yeah. Um, definitely want to keep an eye out though for that. I think I'll just push or put... Wait, do, which rook do I want to bring in? Because maybe I want to bring this other rook to b7 so I can really just jam my pawn into their face. And in fact, I think that is what I'm going to opt to do, because I'm not pushing this pawn anytime soon. So I think I'm actually going to move this rook. Maybe that's a bad decision, I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If he goes there, there, oops, there, then I go over here, and I have rook there and there. Does he have any fork? No, I just drop back. Doesn't really have a good way to get out. I guess he can go there, trade, no, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm definitely playing this. And then maybe next move I play, I move my other rook over here. I'm almost certain he's going to play either there or there though. But again, I'm not afraid of it. And I've been proven wrong. Okay, well now I think that it's pretty obvious. I, I, I have to get this knight in there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just positionally, that looks like a great move. Maybe he has to trade his bishop for that knight, but if he ever does that, then I have a really strong pawn wall, and he has a very weak b2 pawn. Of course, right now, he can just kick my knight out with b2, but in the future, he won't be able to do that, because I'll keep on pushing my other pawns. This is a very positional game, actually. It's very interesting. And if he ever moves his knight right now, by the way, I obviously have the fork. But I doubt that he'll make that error. What was that for? I may maybe it was to that the maybe it was to defend this square, but that's not where I was going anyway. Do I have any cool ideas right now? Um, no, I don't. But it. If I play here and he pushes forward, now that pawn is weak, so I think I'm going to do that anyway. Maybe I wanted to bring my other knight in first, so if he tries to attack it, I can just replace the knight with another knight. I don't know. I 
I, I mean, if he moves his bishop to take away that knight, I also have a great place for my other knight on e4. I feel like my minor pieces are much more active than my opponent's pieces, which would be good if I actually knew how to wield them, but that remains to be seen. <laughs> I'm going to move my queen to a more active file too. Okay, he moves his knight. Where is he? I guess he wants to go there next move. Or there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <sighs> so, I think that I want to move... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. I really don't like this out... This, these out, this outpost for his knight in particular. I'm fine with... This one, because I can always push him away away with a pawn, but this one is going to be dangerous. Hmm. How do I make any progress here? At all. Um. I I definitely don't want to push e five. I think that would be a mistake. Um. I think I have a better position. I'm not totally sure. I feel like I do. But I'm not sure how I can make take any advantage of that. I, even if he does put a knight there, I can always disrupt that with e5 at some point. Um, and I just realized I might not want to play here to reinforce that knight because then I can't move back there. Um, but I was, do I want to play knight d7 just to stop him or to dissuade him from doing that? Or, I mean, not, not that obviously from moving his knight there. Um, I think so. I don't think it's doing much here anyway. And I can never play a move like this because then he just disrupts my entire structure. Um, so I'm not really seeing any better move to be honest. Who knows? And if he pushes this, I'm I'm always happy to see that move because that'll weaken his pawn structure considerably. Yeah, this is very positional. <laughs> and I did, do not mean that in a good way. If only I still had my dark squared bishop, actually. Actually, no, that wouldn't be very useful here, would it? But then again, his light squared bishop is basically just a placeholder right now because it cannot get in anywhere, <laughs> which is kind of cool, actually. Yeah, if, if I can somehow get my queen here, then I think I win. Oh, wait, he moved. Um, I guess he wants to double stack this, but I don't think there's really anything there. What do I do? Like, <laughs> there's nothing to do. I guess I need a better position for my queen anyway. Maybe that's what I do. Where would my queen be best placed? Hmm. Well, obviously be best there, but I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe I want to start pushing these pawns, but then again, he just has more attackers than I have defenders. Wait, let's see. This... And this, then captures, 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 check. But then you can just defend it. Um, I'm not totally sure what to do right now. I actually think I'm not winning anymore. At least it's 1510, so I have some time to think about this. Maybe I just could do a waiting move, but I'm pretty confident he'll just bring his rook over here if I do. Not totally sure what that would achieve, though. This knight's the most, his most annoying piece by far. Then again, I assume my knight is my most annoying piece for him, so that makes me a bit happy. Um, 
Okay, I think I need to move my, move my queen out. Where to? Let's think. I'm, I'm debating c7 or e7. I think I'm leaning towards... Um, oh, not e7, because that would give away this pawn with the pin. Um, which is actually pretty annoying. Wait a minute. Do I have any... No, obviously, obviously I don't do that. Um, okay, I'm sorry I'm not commentating much. I just really don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe I try to do, I try to do this whole maneuver. This queen is there right now, but I don't know. Um, dang, I really don't don't know what to do. Okay, I'll move to the open, to the semi-open file. That's just like a basic improving move, I guess. But I don't have a plan. Like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. And he has double my time. Ah, I'm feeling this game slip away. I'm also very glad that I didn't go B6, because then this move would be very annoying. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because then I attack his pawn, I guess. I'm hoping he just goes b3 at some point. Oh my god, this guy is so annoying. I don't even know what he thinks he's achieving, because obviously he can never take this pawn or anything. Um, okay, now what? <laughs> Do I begin pushing this and then try to try to get another outpost up here? Um, I think maybe I push a5. That might be the best move. I'm not even sure why. My follow-up to that would definitely not be here because takes, 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 takes. Um, I lose a p or I lose a pawn. I think I'll still do it though, just because I don't really know what else to do. And I definitely, or maybe I just create luck for my king. But but then again, that's opening up my light squares. Don't really want to do that either. So I think I'll just do that. Also stops him from ever playing knight b4, which is nice. I'm not sure why he'd want to do that, but. Stops him from doing it, I guess. Um, and yeah, we're down on the clock. That might be the biggest problem here. Should I offer a draw? Because I, I feel like this position might be drawn. And I gain rating if I do get a draw. So that might be an option. But then again, for some reason it feels embarrassing to offer. Oh, okay, now something's happening. Now something's happening indeed. Which do I, I think obviously I take with this one because that's my useless knight. Taking with this one would be stupid. Um, do I want to take though at all? Because if I take, then I'm sure his plan is to take with, no, he, obviously he, he okay, yeah, I, I take. If he takes with the rook, then I just trade rooks. I mean, um, I, I win the exchange, so. More than happy with that, but no way he does that. <laughs> yeah, expected. I think that he made a mistake though, because that seems like it can only ever be good for me. Um, now both of his rooks are pinned down and protecting that pawn. Um, takes, takes, takes. You know, what? I'm gonna move this rook over here so that it's out of this pin. And now I'm threatening to push this pawn. Takes, 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 takes with the rook. Um, there's some life breathed into the position, finally. Thank you to my opponent for giving it. But I think this is a pretty even position. Maybe I'm slightly better. I like to think that, at least. <laughs> but probably not. I f I'm kind of, I'm slightly worried about a kingside attack. In fact, I'm very worried about a king's side attack. 
In fact, I'm incredibly worried about a Kingside attack. What am I going to do to stop that? Okay, he finally pushes that, but can't I just take the pawn? Let's see, if he attacks me again, then I lose the knight, so I guess not. Um, I guess my only move is right there, right? Um, wait, takes, he attacks, oops, he takes, he attacks me. Um, then, yeah, I just lose the knight if I take that pawn, so can't do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have to move it, move it, but where to? Obviously can't do that because it takes, takes, takes. I think I'm going to have to move it there. So I'm, I'm, I'm slightly sad to see my beautiful knight go, but that's okay. Um, I'll find another use for him. My knight is actually slightly less useful now than his bishop, which I'm a bit mad about. But now he's freed up one of his 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 rooks. And by the way, I've rewatched a few of my videos, and I realize I keep on calling pieces the wrong names. Like I'll randomly call a bishop a rook, or a rook a bishop, or a knight a bishop. So I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> um. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's annoying to anybody. <laughs> um. I think that he's probably going to defend his pawn because right now it's hanging with a move like rook e3. In which case, I'll probably push this pawn. I think that would be a good move. A terrible move in that position would be to push this pawn because then he locks everything down. Oh no, but then I get a beautiful knight again. But I think I might be overestimating the power of my knight. Let's see. If I push here, he obviously can't take because I win the queen. He can take this way, but then I take this way. Then I'm happy with that. Um, I really don't want to lock it down even if I do get a nice knight because I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm going to push this pawn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he pushes this, I win a... Um, I can recapture everything correctly. And now, by the way, I'm very glad that I did move this knight over here because otherwise I wouldn't be able to recapture with this pawn because of the pin. Maybe all those moves ago I should have just kept this rook over on the F file and moved and, and moved my A rook to the C file. I don't know. Because now they're a bit cramped, I guess. Then again, both of my rooks are kind of positioned perfectly, so maybe not. Hmm. Well, now I can take this way if I really wanted to. That might be a bit crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not going to take that pawn. That would just make things easier for him. Instead, I'm going to target this one. And I'm playing a bit faster now because I have to. Um, I'm thankful that I get plus 10 seconds every every move I make in this format. He can't really defend both pawns un unless he plays... You know, he can't defend it with his queen. I think that he lost one of his pawns. So maybe that's good for me, but I'm also probably missing something. Oh no, he could just trade everything. No, 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 he can't. What am I talking about? Then his queen hangs. Yeah, sometimes I dismiss obvious moves like that, which we observed last game when I hung my bishop terribly. And again, I really do need to get a new a, a new camera because I'm I'm seeing I have my OBS, which is my, my recording software on this screen. My face looks like a tomato. Uh, maybe tomorrow I record a video of me doing some puzzles. That might be kind of interesting, or not. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. But for now, let's just do a little dance. Wait for him. I think that he's realized that he's in a little bit of a pickle. But maybe he has an easy way out that I'm just not seeing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm actually kind of good at that. I don't know why I just did that. That was probably insanely cringy, but just biting, just waiting for my opponent to make his move. He has just over double my time. Um, now he has exactly double my time, which is a bit frustrating. But in 1510, like I'm not going to lose on time. I might lose because I'm low on time, but I'm not going to lose because of time. Oh, I just realized he has rook e1, which would be kind of annoying because then he does defend both pawns. I mean, no, he doesn't. I, I, I still, I still win his pawn there. And then, eventually, I can probably push this, force him to move forward, and get my knight back in there. 
if I, if I really wanted to. <coughs> um, I think that both of us have played a pretty decent game so far. Maybe game review will tell me otherwise, but I don't know. I feel like we're both pretty solid. I think I do have a little bit of an, uh, of an advantage right now, though, maybe. <laughs> it was funny because in positions like this, I'll say something like that in my head when I'm not recording, and then I'll just see like some crazy, some crazy brilliant move like, like queen takes h7, and I'll be like, what the heck? Um, okay. Not unexpected. Actually, it was kind of unexpected, but I think that I want to retake with this because, wait, let me see. Takes, 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 takes. Then it's actually even, so maybe not. And then I have a weak pawn. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see. Wait a minute. I think that taking here is probably the play. Obviously, he can't capture that way. And then I win this pawn. Yeah. I could have recaptured it with my rook, but then after captures, 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 captures. And then he has two outside fast pawns. They're doubled, but still kind of scary. So I think it's simpler to just take with the pawn. I might want to make some luft for my king pretty soon. But I'm afraid of how to do it because I don't want to open up any um, light squares for him to infiltrate on. So maybe it's better to just not do that until I absolutely have to, not see ghosts, so to speak. Hmm. Okay, I think now I take. And then if nothing else, I take there again. Yeah, I mean, I'm just winning a pawn. So I think I have to. Obviously, he cannot take there. Because then I just take his queen, then I win a rook. <laughs> He's probably going to try to win this pawn. But I think I can defend it pretty nicely. Okay, he opts to save that piece. And not trade it. That's interesting. What do I want to do with this now? Captures, 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 and then he pins it and wins by knight. So I can't do that. Um, how do I get a piece there? I'll need it to be. I don't think I can get a piece there actually right now, or or my knife there. I mean, wait a minute. I can. I can go boom. Let's see. How do I get a knife there? Boom, boom. How do I get a knife there? I need it there first, so I can go boom, boom. Boom, boom. Is it really that long? Okay, well. Um. I think that I have to just move. <laughs> Let's see, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna move my knight because I'm gonna run out of time before I pick the perfect move. Maybe I should have moved it back over here, but I don't think so. Um. Yeah, maybe next move I attack here, attack, maybe, maybe make him move his bishop. Not really sure what that would achieve, though. Oh, maybe I just push this pawn. No, then, then that gets too strong. I really don't know what to do. This is difficult. <laughs> but nobody said chess was easy. Hmm. Okay, so he stops that idea. I'm not sure if that's incredible. Um, I'm just going to move this queen up so that it's defending this pawn in case I ever want to push this, this, and this. And to also buy myself an extra 10 seconds of time. Uh, this is stifling. Oh, wait a minute. 
Do you know what might be a good move too? I might want to move my rook and get it down here somehow. Hmm, that's an idea. Or maybe I, maybe I want a triple stack. Okay, if he captures there, I'm totally fine with that. I don't think that's really anything I should be worrying about. But do I have a cooler move? Um, I don't think so. Um, instead, I think I'll triple stack. Also, if he captures there, then that would also that would be kind of bad because this is another defender of his c4 pawn, which is in a bit of distress right now. I feel like I'm on the verge of maybe making something happen. Unless I run out of time first, of course. But opponent is also getting low on time. Obviously, if he captures, I capture towards the center. Not too afraid of him, infl of him infiltrating at this point. I don't think there are enough pieces to make that happen. Although I've been proved wrong in the past, so who knows. Maybe I offer a draw? I don't know. I do have homework though, so I hope something happens. <laughs> Next move, I'm probably gonna triple stack. Okay. What's he planning? I don't think he's really planning anything because even if he takes there, I don't think that anything happens. Um, I think I just follow through on my plan. Not too afraid. I think that queen move might have just been a waiting move. Next move, I think I actually will follow through on the threat of taking there. Hmm. So he takes, but then he just takes with that. I think I actually have to move this queen up here. Wait, no. Hmm. Okay, I'm running very low on time. I need my knight there. I think that I have the time to just move my knight all the way over. Uh, right now I'm just planning to move my knight all the way over here. Maybe I don't have time, but I feel like I do because the position is so close. Um, I'm gonna offer a draw. Oh, never mind. I will not offer a draw because I think that might have been a mistake. Because now I just get this pawn. Oh no, it wasn't a mistake. I don't think so, at least. Now I now we trade rooks. Hmm. I mean, if he doesn't take my rook, I'll take his. Maybe actually, maybe not. Right now his bishop is hanging. Opts to attack my queen. That might have been a mistake, actually, because now I can pin him. Um, if he moves, I win the two rooks for that. But where do I want to go? I think I'm. I'm I, th I think I'm just gonna go there. Bring my rook out next. I did that so I, so that this pawn is defended. I'm actually not liking my position anymore. Especially not with the amount of time that I have. Um, okay, he m might do that next move. So I'm going to move back over here. Maybe he moves in, but then I can just kick him out. Oh no, maybe he stacks. Yeah, I think this is actually very bad for me. If he stacks his... Okay, I don't think that was the right move. Because now I kick this...
And then, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking because I really need to think. I really need to focus. I'm gonna offer a draw because I'm low on time. Okay, he declines it. Of course he does. Okay, he's trying to get that, but obviously I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna pretend like I fell for it. I'm gonna pretend like I fell for it, because I take his rook with check. If he plays that, that's a blunder. Maybe he misses it? Next move I play that, maybe? This is on Razor's Edge. Sorry, again, sorry for not commentating. I really just need to focus. Okay. He's going to probably try to play that next move. Instead, I'm going to play this. I don't think it's a blunder. Maybe he plays that next move, in which case I might have to start panicking. <laughs> Maybe I have to make some left. Okay. I'm going to move my queen because... I did not like the fact that he could pin pin it like, oh, wait, I, I could have taken it there. So I guess that didn't even matter. Okay, how do I, I'm just gonna move my rook. I mean, my, see, I call my knight my rook all the time. If he's not careful, next move I play that. No, next move I play this and then I play that. So he definitely has to remain vigilant. Okay, do I? Yes, I do that. Now I force to, now I definitely get his bishop. And then I have a, um, a pawn that's just totally free to move forward. Now he's lower in time than I am. My next move is pretty much automatic. I'm actually, my heart's feeding so fast right now. What? Why can I not take that? What's the reason? I don't see it. But now I just move here. Yeah, that's, that, that's not checkmate. I think he miscalculated. Oh, <laughs> all of that for that? I mean, low time, anything can happen, but. <laughs> That's unfortunate for my opponent, Jesus. <laughs> all of that for that ending, wow. Wow, that was an intense game. My heart was, my heart's beating so fast right now. This is also, I believe the longest video on my channel, but I'm still going to do a small game review. Not too long though, because this game lasted a while. Um, wow, this game, this game got my heart beating.
That was the most intense game so far, by far, I think. Okay, just in terms of like e equality, it was a it, it 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 was good. Okay, let's see. So, normal Caro stuff. Not gonna analyze this because this is just CaroCon. Okay, so a six was good. Let's see. I think that knight c six would have been a mistake, right? Nope, it was fine. But how about this? Oh, that would have been a mistake for from what though? I guess it wanted me to play. So it wanted me to play queen b6, and then if this comes in or something, that's actually a big mistake because I can trap it. Okay, and then if he plays queen here instead, that's a mistake because I just take the knight. Okay, so I, I did see a bit of a ghost, but a6 was fine. Okay, yeah. The computer never likes trading bishops on d6 or d3 for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Okay, I should have just taken there, not try to be been fancy. Oh, this is fine. Is this better or is this better? Okay, it likes both rooks pretty much equally, I think. But if it had to choose, computer was saying f c8 is better, so I did make the, the correct decision. But it liked e5, oops. My bad. It, it actually likes e5 here. Wait, no, a5. Sorry, I was surprised why it would have liked e5. Um, but move, move. I move my knight. Perfect. What would be better? I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to ignore the computer on that one. I like putting my knight on a strong outpost post much more. Okay, knight d7 was good. I'm very happy about that. What did it want me to do instead? Okay, I wanted me to push a5. Eventually, I do push a5. Okay, sliding my queen back was correct because of the pawn. Or, um, or just to, re to reroute. Now I finally do play the computer move. Wait, what would have been better than trading? Trading that way? Why? That was my better... That was, that was my better knight. Okay, I guess I just don't understand. He makes that. I, I knew that was a mistake when he played that. Oh, wait, I ignored an opportunity to capture a free pawn. How is that a free pawn? He traps my knight. Oh, I defend my knight. <laughs> I forgot that I could defend it. Oops, that's a learning moment. I was thinking about how I have to move it, but I forgot that I can literally just push the pawn and defend it. Okay, that's embarrassing. So I move it back, but I, my, my analysis was correct that I am winning here. Um, capture a free pawn. They wanted me to capture this way. I did talk about capturing that way, but I thought that wasn't very good. Okay, so instead I, okay, I missed a move here. I'm not gonna look at the computer. What did it want me to do here instead? My guess is it want, is it wanted me to take c4. Yeah, it did want me to take c4, and then I'm winning um, with two points of eval. I guess because after all these trades, um, that's good. Wait, wait, am I reading this right, or am I am I blind? It wants me to take. Oh wait, no. Now it wants me to play knight up here. Then I guess it wants me to. Stop this until I can win it back or something. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But the, the point is it wanted me to take. Okay, this was a mistake. Wanted me to play e5. That actually does make some sense. Then I have a, a passed pawn. Like, it, it, oops. Oh, why do I keep on doing that? Yeah, if, he has, if, it, if it would have pushed e5, like, it, like this pawn would have been free, a passer. Like My guess is that's why it's good, but maybe there's a different reason. He missed taking. I guess that would have worked because then if he takes here, oops, takes here, then takes, 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 so then he can, then I, I have a really weak pawn. Okay, it did want me to move the knight, it just wanted me to reroute it a different way. So I guess that's something to learn from. 
Taking the pawn wasn't a mistake by him, I guess. And this game is completely equal, by the way. Maybe I should show the eval bar in the future when I'm game, game reviewing. I'll, I'll get that set up for next video, but for now I'm just going to say it's plus 0.3 for me, so pretty much equal. I blunder, but he misses it. Oh, yeah, that, this is a terrible blunder. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, it, wait, how is that a blunder? I take it back, because... Because if he plays here, then I can just take it, then takes, takes, oh, then check, and even though I can block the check, he still wins back the rook, and then he's just up material. So I blundered, and then I, and then eventually I saw the threat. Um... Okay, I should have played rook c or knight c. I see. I call it the knight of rook all the time. Knight d five here because if he takes, I win the queen. And I mean that, that's not why I should play it. It's, it. it's just a strong place for the knight, but that's an added benefit. Like obviously he he wouldn't actually take that. Um, he misses. I miss. Okay, yeah, this is a bit messier than I imagined. I miss. Oh, I miss a really good fork because this pawn is pinned, so I could have just taken this. Then I'm winning by 5.5 eval. I even mentioned, mentioned that this pawn was pinned, but I totally missed it in the, in the actual game. That's a bit unfortunate. But he blunders again. I really don't see what he was thinking here. Maybe the time pressure got to him. But yeah, I won and this is how it could have gone on according to the computer. Okay, so good game. 1342 we're getting deep into the 1300s now so thank you for watching i'll see you tomorrow and rock on i'm sorry for that cringy ending <laughs> bye bye